Hello everyone, and welcome back to the farm. Today I'm going to be chiseling and planting the wheat field. I'm going to be planting it with corn, and I might possibly spray some liquid fertilizer on there too while I'm at it. So let me go ahead and get the case fired up. It's looking like it might need some fuel. Go ahead and fill her up, I guess. I haven't done that for a while. All right, got the tractor filled up. Now it's time to get the chisel out. Let's see if I actually put it in a spot where I don't have to move stuff to get to it. It's like I usually have something blocking to implement. Hey, no, look at that. Perfect spot. Looks like I don't have to move anything to get it out. So we go ahead and back out to that. There we go. Put the hoses up. I should be able to just pull it right out without any issues. Look at that. Perfect. All right, just got that field done. On my way back to spray that off and hook up to the planter and do some corn planting. I need to remember though to pull the planter out at first. I believe last time I did this, I put my chisel away and then I went to grab the planter. I'm like, well, daggone it. The chisel's in front of the planter, so I gotta move that. <laughs> I need to remember to just unhook this right here and get the planter out first there we go that looks good all right let me grab some seed for that planter I think I'll just leave the chisel out for right now because I believe it'll be easier to put the planter away if I wait to put it, the chisel away since the chisel will be blocking where I put it in at so let me go ahead and grab I'll just grab this big bag of seed. I think that'll be more than enough, hopefully. There's not a lot of seed in here, but I'm hopeful that it'll be enough. All right, got that seed put away. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave the Ferguson out in case I got seed left over to put back in there. And I believe I'm good on fertilizer. 
I don't think I'll run out of fertilizer, so I'm just going to go ahead and get down to the field and start planting. Alright guys, I'm headed back to the farmyard because I was wrong and I did run out of seed. I ran out of seed pretty fast. So I'm going to have to come up here and refill. I think I'll just fill her up about all the way, I guess. I'll see how many bags it takes to fill it up, I guess. So, go ahead, shut the tractor off. Make sure I'm not blocking the road. <laughs> Don't want to be blocking the road for people. Right. Let's see how full this pallet can get us. Go ahead and start dumping these in here. All right. So it didn't take a whole bunch to fill it up. I'm going to go ahead and just leave this pallet out right here in case I need to refill my tank again. So I'll just leave that right there, and I guess I'll go get back to work. Just got done planting the cornfield. Got it unfolded. Time to hook up to the planter and take it back up to the shop. I think I might also spray fertilizer on this field today as well. Just to get that done, you know, help the crops out, help them get going sooner. Since, I mean, it is already summer, you know, and I would like for them to get sprouting as fast as possible. <laughs> I'm not having to harvest these around Christmas time. So I might, I'm not 100% sure, but I might go ahead and spray that with fertilizer today. We'll see. But I'll tell you what, though. That canola field is just lovely. I love that field. Uh, I'll need to put that tractor away first. It's blocking where I need to be. Let me pull this up so I'm not blocking the road. I'll go ahead and put this away. Alright guys, I got my planter and chisel put away. I did decide that I will go ahead and spray that field today. You know, it's only 12, or excuse me, it's only 1 o'clock. I still got plenty of time left in the day. Might as well knock that out. That I don't have to do it later in the season. Now I'll wait for the I'll wait for the weeds to sprout until I 
I'll wait for the weeds to sprout to spray it with herbicide. So right now I'll just spray it with um, the uh, fertilizer. Alright, got the tractor filled up with some fertilizer. I didn't show the process of getting it out. Uh, I was too lazy to walk down and grab my truck. So I pulled the tractor around here and fin dangled in here and pulled it out. I had to move the grain truck though. Yeah, it was quite embarrassing. I don't want to show you guys that, so I'm just going to delete the footage for that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm pretty sure this will be enough, more than enough at least, to uh, spray this small field. So I'll go ahead and get to work on that. Alright guys, got that field done. Go ahead and empty the sprayer out. Um not really think it needs to spray down, especially since I'll use it again here in a week or so once the corn starts to sprout and I can see where all the weeds are and stuff. So I'll go ahead and just back it up here for now. Let's see, I think too. But that is it for today's video. Next week, I'll, I'll probably be doing my spraying over there. Killing any weeds that are sprouting. But again, guys, just come over here and look at this. This canola field is beautiful. Look at all that yellow. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not on the camera, but I can hear a whole bunch of bees in here buzzing around. I love this canola. Yeah, anyway... That's it for today's video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all again. Bye.